Hey guys, this is Skyforce Games, and I'm back to do a reaction to Dragon Zord vs. Mecha Godzilla Death Battle. <clears throat> well, <laughs> here we are again with Power Rangers. Um, <clears throat> you guys remember when I did my um, Power Rangers vs. Voltron video? Yeah, Power Rangers is very nostalgic to me. It's, um, like, the first. Probably the first show I was ever really invested in was Power Rangers and Dino Thunder, and then later on, I, then the first bit of like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that I ever saw was actually the movie, <laughs> and then I didn't see the TV show until years later when Death Battle actually got me back into it with um, Tiger Zord versus Gundam Epion, and yeah, and then and Tommy lost that one. Uh. <laughs> And then Power Rangers vs. Voltron, I know it was a highly requested death battle, but really, they didn't really stand a chance. And, yeah, Voltron killed them. <coughs> and now here we are again. The Dragon Zord vs. Mechagodzilla. At first, I had a bit, bit of faith that the Dragon Zord would win, and then I actually looked at what Mechagodzilla can do, and I'm just like, mm. <laughs> Let me put it this way. I am rooting for the Dragon Zord. No matter, no matter who you put it up against, it, no matter what Mega Godzilla could do to completely annihilate Dragon Zord, if he could, if they, if Mega Godzilla could, I'm still gonna be rooting for Dragon Zord. <laughs> it's Power Rangers, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna like go against my childhood. No way. <laughs> But yeah, while I do think Mechagodzilla might win this, I'm still gonna be rooting for the Dragon Zord, like, all the way. Oh boy, this is... This is... It's it's gonna kill me, I know, but... Oh man, hopefully the Power Rangers can finally break their losing streak. But I have, I have little faith that they can. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, let's... Anyway, let's just start the video in three... Two, one, play. Fun fact, did you know 66% of men lose their hair by age 35? Well, maybe not so fun, but Hims is here to help as the one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, and sexual wellness for men. Hims connects you with real doctors and medical grade solutions to treat hair loss. It's real easy to get started. Death Battle viewers can get a trial month of Hims for just $5 yeah, right now while supplies last. See website for full details and safety information. To this could cost hundreds from a temple pharmacy. Thin. Go to 4 hymnscom so, slash death That's F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash death battle. It was just the preview, so who knows what else slash death battle. Whether they are benevolent deities or harbingers of doom, dragons are freaking awesome. Hell yes. yeah! Especially the robot kind, like the Dragon Zord, piloted by the Green Power Ranger. Oh, and yeah. Kiru, the Tommy's dangerous and back. mysterious <laughs> Mecha Godzilla. Hopefully not He's to die. With again. Nine boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. After being stuck in a garbage can for 10,000 years, the evil Rita Repulsa was yeah, understandably pretty pissed. <laughs> yeah. So she decided to destroy the world. Hey, I'd be mad Conquer too, Earth, but that's yeah. a hell of a hot take. And so Earth's guardian, Zordon, put a plan into motion. Mm -hmm. Five heroic teenagers would defend the planet Over with their dino swords. They were the Mighty Morphin Open Power Rangers. Rangers. You'd think a bunch of kids in spandex would have a tough time fighting an ancient witch, but they got no, used to taking out her weekly it. monsters pretty quick, <laughs> like a normal but... 9 to 5, just with giant robots. But Rita had a plan. If her mm -hmm. creatures could not defeat the heroes, she would create her own ranger. The Green Ranger, along with his robo-reptile, the Dragon Zord. <laughs> At 90 meters tall and nearly 200 tons, the Dragon Zord proved a match for the other Rangers, even their Megazord. Dragon Zord's got a heavy duty arsenal, like finger missiles. It's like flicking the gunk from under your nails at people, but yeah. it explodes. Why do you have gunk under your fingers? To flick at people, duh. 
That fin isn't just okay. a cool headpiece. It shoots energy waves. And if D Zord feels like stomping around, watch out for literally shocking earthquakes. Hmm. Despite such long range weaponry, the Dragon Zord seems best suited to fighting up close with its strong mm -hmm. grappling arms and highly flexible drill tail. Yeah, that's this thing. drill is so impressive, it cut Me through a cocoon Me prison, Godzilla. even the supposedly um. superior Megazord couldn't escape. Yeah, Me that Godzilla thing's five swords in one. His teamwork Dragon doesn't Zord's always make the dream work. The Dragon Zord's pilot has even bested the other rangers in combat on his own. Luckily, they helped him break free from Rita's yeah. control, and he eagerly joined their fight against the forces of evil. Mm -hmm. This is Tommy Oliver. Yeah. Tommy wasn't just some rando off the street. This guy is an expert martial mm -hmm. artist and super dedicated to ranger work. So much so, he kept wearing the tights for years and oh, even yeah. mentored other teams. Mm -hmm. He summons and controls the Dragon Sword with the Dragon Dagger so by playing it like a flute. Realized, like, Wait, holy crap, are this all is, knives this is a secretly big deal. flutes? They've never uh, not been I, flutes. I didn't realize how big oh of a deal God, Tommy really? was in Dino Thunder until I Wait actually. A minute. Until Why didn't later. this come up in poultry <laughs> science class? Chickens. Don't like music? How stupid do you think I am? Chickens love music! <gasps> ah! God, this is what they mean by a sharp note! As the mm. Green Ranger, Tommy draws power from a universe spanning energy called the Morphin Grid. His mm -hmm. grid connection powers the Dragon Sword, too. He's a superhero and a battery. Though, like most other Zords, enough damage can disrupt the Dragon Sword's connection to the yeah. Morphin Grid and take it down for good. But good luck trying. The Dragon Zord is super strong. It made short work of Rita's monsters and even beat the Megazord, which has an average power oh, yeah. output of 50,000 megavolts. Hmm. That's the same kind of power as a nuclear warhead. The Megazord huh. was strong enough to punch a 10,000 ton yeah. monster about 40 meters off the ground. A punch worth 90 million newtons of force. Hmm. The Big D can even fly past escape velocity and reach the moon. That's over 30 times the speed of sound. Wow. The Dragon Zord is also extremely durable, possibly more so than any other individual Zord of its generation. Huh. The Megazord once threw it into this mountain, which shattered. By comparing the known size of Dragon Zord's foot to said mountain and applying the energy necessary for violent hmm. fragmentation against rock, we determined the destructive force to be worth more than 350 tons of TNT. Oh, wow. Damn! <laughs> the big dragon held its own against the upgraded Fire. Thunder Fire. Megazord, Fire. and even once shot yeah. the White Tiger Zord, which was supposed to be its better in every way. While it's unlikely the Dragon Zord could actually defeat the Thunder Megazord on its own, it certainly stands a chance with its ultimate form. <laughs> That's right, it's got a semi-Megazord mode of its own. Yep. While each Power Ranger has their own sword, there's been a few times when a Ranger has called on other Zords, not to pilot directly, just to combine with theirs. And so, yep. Tommy can summon the Mastodon, Triceratops, and Sabertooth Tiger Zords to form Dragon Zord Fighting Mode, mm -hmm. or Battle Mode. Or yeah. Dragon Megazord, he never really settled on a name. No, well, it's mighty they powerful really do. and turns its tail like into a real spear that that's used to basically they everything in one shot. Seriously, it never lost a battle against anything Rita threw at it. Hmm. So, uh, why don't they always use that? And Rita's magic is devastating enough to obliterate an entire floating island. Sadly, hmm. Tommy would lose his control of the Dragon Zord when he lost his powers to his one weakness. A magic Plot. candle! <laughs> oh no! Look out for slowly dripping wax! But powers or no powers, Tommy kept fighting the good fight, oh, eventually yeah. regaining There's his original Dino morphing Thunder, abilities Tommy. with the Master Morpher. Perhaps one day, the Dragon Sword will rise again. Mm -hmm. Dragon Sword! Go green! The year was 1954, less than a decade after Japan was bombarded with the first atomic weapons. The nuclear they, age they have, had begun. They have to use but that solid data fight. I don't care if Tigers or Windsor loses. Dragons or Windsor loses. I want them to use that song. Gotcha. This ginormous radioactive kaiju decimated Japan. Things look pretty bad until a scientist deployed a yeah. bomb strong enough to kill the monster. The Oxygen Destroyer, yes, which does exactly what it says on the tin. <laughs> right, Dr. Serizawa's bomb could pee, specifically so. target and destroy oxygen molecules, mm -hmm. liquefying most living tissue. This weapon was so dangerous, Serizawa feared its very existence threatened the entire human race. Mm -hmm. So he went down martyr style, taking out yeah. Godzilla and all knowledge of his weird bomb. All that remained was Godzilla's bones. 
Probably for the best. Mm -hmm. Still, a weapon like that might have come in handy when a few decades later, another, another showed Godzilla up. showed up. Surprise, bitches! <laughs> Turns out, Japan had been the target of many different types of kaiju for years, and had developed an anti-monster defense force to combat them. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, their super powerful maser cannons barely even scratched this new Godzilla. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just look at him. I didn't even care. Like the oxygen destroyer before, Japan needed a new weapon to combat Godzilla. They gathered their foremost experts in the fields of robotics, microwaves, low temperature physics, and someone whose work can only be described as cyber necromancy. Hmm. Together, these leading scientists yep. developed a revolutionary weapon Mechagodzilla. like nothing before it. Kiryu. Mecha Godzilla! Sure, technically this isn't the first Mecha Godzilla yeah. we've seen, but it's certainly the deadliest and the most unique. So much so, it was given its own distinct name, Kiru, a combination of kanji meaning machine and dragon. Hmm. Here machine you dragon. sounds lame. I'll stick with Mega Godzilla, thank you. Standing Fair. 60 meters tall and weighing 40,000 tons with full gear, this badass cyber monster is loaded with all sorts of weapons. Oh yeah, it's rocket it's launchers, heavy. rail it's, cannons, it's really grappling heavy. wires, yeah, spinning yeah. drill hands, a battering ram jetpack, and even retractable Assassin's Creed blades with an extra zap. Hmm. And just like Zilla himself, Mecha G fires laser beams from his mouth. This twin maser cannon is twice as powerful as the maser guns that successfully killed other non-Godzilla giant monsters. Kiru is certainly skilled in melee combat and is surprisingly athletic for its size. Look at huh. it go! However, with its enormous arsenal, it is far better suited to long-range strikes. Yeah. Like with its ultimate weapon, the Absolute Zero Cannon. Damn! So it's like a super ice beam? As the name suggests, it unequivocally brings its target's temperature to absolute zero, or zero Kelvin. But this yeah. beam isn't just freezing its target, yeah, it's literally destroying all out. of its existing energy yeah. at once. Mm -hmm. A practically impossible feat of physics. <laughs> this results in crushing the entire target from within yeah. at an atomic level. Yeah, oh my that, that's, God. that's the Zilla. one thing I'm worried about. Uh, speaking of which, Kiru is actually built around the skeletal remains of the original Godzilla giving them all the size and strength of the King of the Monsters. Hmm. So it's kind of like they're pulling off a robotic weekend at Bernie's with old man Godzilla's bones? Amazing. Kiru also utilizes biochemical and molecular-based DNA computers, which are actually based on real-life experimental technology. Hmm. This infused Godzilla's own DNA to improve operation speeds and give Kiru subconscious motor control, sort of hmm. a simple AI, which lets it perform okay. some limited actions on its own. Exactly like my own cyber goose. With the skeleton of a goose and some extra parts I had lying around, I say he's a masterpiece of modern science. Well, huh. he's got two heads now, so do we call him a goose or a geese? It's a goose. Just one goose. But two heads make two goose, therefore a geese. Mm -hmm. It's a goose! <laughs> oh yeah, this version's much better. Kiru is piloted okay. by Lieutenant Akane Yashiro, a longtime member of the Anti-Megalosaurus Force and your standard self-loathing anime protagonist. Ah. She thinks she's worthless because she has no parents and accidentally got some of her friends killed. So now nobody really likes her, which is a uh, real bummer. Mm. But hey, cheer up, lady. You get to fight giant lizards with a big ass killer robot. And that's freaking awesome. Akane doesn't technically pilot from within Kiru, but rather from a nearby jet plane. The oh. AC-3 White Heron, which can fly over 900 kilometers per hour. Hmm. Under Akane's control, Kiru has battled Godzilla several times and always came out on top. But plot twist, Akane isn't Mega Godzilla's only pilot. It turns out there's someone else behind the controls, a ghost in the machine. It's the spirit of the original Godzilla. Really? Surprise again, bitches! It's Ghost robot. The DNA mind of Godzilla can wrestle the mech from Akane at any point, oh. causing her to lose complete control. Oh. Giving the king another chance to trash Japan again. Uh, always fun to relive the good old days. Hmm. Though it is strongly implied Akane and Kiru came to an understanding of sorts, realizing that they were each shadows of a tragic past struggling to find purpose in life. Like college roommates. Regardless of who is steering the ship, Kiru is an extremely tough machine. Yeah. He's lifted and thrown Godzilla around like a sack of potatoes, and this version of the Big G weighed 25,000 tons. Mm -hmm. Kiru that, actually survived being at yeah, the epicenter than, of its own absolute zero blast, 
and multiple direct hits from Godzilla's atomic breath attack. Which is even strong enough to overpower the Absolute Zero. Huh. Kiru is even fast enough to dodge the atomic breath, which, based on this instance where an older Mechagodzilla forced the beam into space, likely travels faster than Mach 2 speeds. Oh. Kiru itself could also fly from Alaska hmm. to the middle of Russia while carrying another kaiju in just a few minutes. Given how quickly Kiru's fuel burns in flight, in order to make it, Kiru was likely flying around Mach 40. Oh. But that's sadly the Mecha Monster's biggest flaw. Its battery life is worse than the goddamn Nintendo Switch. <laughs> While the White Herons can use microwave tech to recharge Kiru on the fly, a full charge only runs for about two hours at most. And using more intensive features like jet flight and the Absolute Zero Cannon drains it much, much hmm. faster. Right. In fact, just one use of the Absolute Zero drains 40%. Oh, wow. Now who cares when he's so badass he can tear you apart in just a few minutes? With all this power at his metal fingertips, this is one epic machine. No it man is. or beast stands a chance against I'm the might for Dragon of Sword, but I do not think they're gonna win. <laughs> all right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But first. I've got a kaiju-sized oh hunger that only Blue Apron can satisfy. Yeah, By now you've Godzilla probably heard of Blue stronger. Apron, the leading meal kit delivery service in the U.S. And Choose your meals each week, get the ingredients Dragon's delivered to your faster. doorstep, and whip up a Not meal sure. using the easy-to-follow directions yeah, provided. Blue, Blue Apron offers three feet. flexible plans, whether it be meals but, for two, for four, uh, or the yeah, WW uh, yeah, Freestyle yeah, yeah. plan. You have control over which meals you receive each week, um, and each delivery comes with easy-to-follow cooking instructions and all the ingredients you um, need. So say goodbye to those last-minute dashes to the grocery store. Uh, with Blue Apron seasonally inspired really and chef-curated recipes, win, but you're I'm not, not just sure making meals, can. you're making memories. <laughs> I my don't want Tommy to die like again. A Please chef, don't let Tommy die again. Making creative and delicious meals with my own hands. You guys really need to try it out. It's pretty nice coming home knowing I'll have a delicious meal I can whip up with ease. Oh and as a thanks to you for watching this show, we have a deal you'd be crazy to say no to. To start making delicious, brag-worthy meals at home without the hassle, try Blue Apron. Check out this week's menu and get $60 off at blueapron.com slash battle. That's blueapron.com slash battle. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. But right now, it's time for a death battle! Oh. Alright, here we go. Nice. Ah, nice work, Dragon Sword. Let's crush this tin can. Yeah, not likely when it weighs like. Ten times heavier than you. <laughs> Maybe even more. I might be low. I might be low balling that. <laughs> Ooh. Godzilla's gonna keep on fighting. Ouch. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man. 
isn't working. We need more power! Come together! Battle mode! Alright, come on. Buddy mode! Powered up and ready for action! Let's finish this! Is it gonna be enough? Keep going, we've got this. Oh, oh, it, oh, oh no. Oh no, pull back, pull back. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay. It's done, it's, it's done. Wait, what? Oh, yep, yeah. okay, yep, yeah, there it goes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. KO! Mm -hmm. Oh man, talk about a close one. Finding the victor here wasn't easy. Okay. Both have performed yeah. amazing feats of strength and durability, I'm and both wielded okay. massive arsenals mm -hmm. of unbelievable devastation. Akane definitely proved herself fighting Godzilla a few times, though Tommy did have way more experience piloting mechs and fighting monsters for years and years. Yeah. Plus, he's a freaking superhero. But while skill and experience are incredibly important, it doesn't always triumph over raw power. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. I hope. Compared to Kiru, the Dragon Sword mm -hmm. was rather lightweight, with far less impressive feats of strength. Yeah. Yeah, well, Dragon Sword could match the Megazord, who could lift a 10,000 ton monster, Mega Godzilla tossed around mm -hmm. a 25,000 ton Godzilla, mm -hmm. more than double the weight. Mega G certainly had the advantage up close. And also from a distance. Kiru's arsenal was overall better suited to yeah. long range combat thanks to a wider assortment of missile and beam weapons. Simply put, Kiru possessed more options for controlling and ending yeah. this fight. Like how they both had instant kill moves, but only one of those depended on getting right up close. Mm -hmm. Plus, while fighting mode's max power wasn't too clear, it could compete with the Thunder Megazord and Rita herself. Remember how Rita blew up an island? Easily one of the most impressive destruction feats in the Rangers' early years. Based on this image, we can measure the exact scale of the island. Hmm. To blow that shit up, you'd need a blast of at least 2.6 gigatons of TNT. Hmm. So Dragon Zord's Ultra Drill Stab was likely in the same ballpark in terms of power output. However, this pales in comparison yeah, to, the to the absolute, absolute zero, zero cannon. Mm -hmm. Here, it's destroying the real-life Prince Hotel New Tower and several surrounding buildings. Using the known scale of these structures, the energy output to destroy them must equal 128 yeah. teratons of TNT. Yeah. That's uh, over 49,000 times more mm -hmm. powerful. And don't forget, Mega G once survived being in the middle of this blast. There was no way Dragon Zord could put down this tough son of a Zilla. Mm -hmm. Dragon Zord's arsenal and Tommy's skill certainly made this an intense match, but they were clearly outclassed by Kiru's awesome power and unwavering durability. Yeah. I'm just glad they didn't let the fight drag on. The winner is Kiru. Okay. Mega Godzilla! <laughs> hey, thanks for watching this okay, episode. What's if next? you want the battle music for yourself, you can get Please it by let it be the link some, in the something I know. And check just out so I can at least not be event. totally depressed that my childhood died again. Oh. Oh. Sasuke? Versus is high. I, that guy's from Yu Yu Hakusho, right? I haven't, you know, actually seen Yu Yu Hakusho, but. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Probably gonna go with Sasuke. <laughs> Simply because he's Sasuke. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> My childhood died again. <laughs> oh, that was so rude for him, too. Oh, man. I knew he wasn't gonna win. I knew Tommy wasn't gonna win, but yikes. Oh boy. Now Death Battle's gonna get, oh, you're biased against Power Rangers stuff again. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, 
Yikes. Alright. That's, uh... <sighs> okay, I got nothing else to say. <laughs> yeah, that this, this, it went pretty much how I expected. The Absolute Zero Cannon is just, was just way too OP for Tommy to actually take out. So, yeah, that's... That's all I got, so, yeah. Till next time, guys. See ya.